there, my name's Gary and I'm going to be doing an unboxing for you today. Today we're going to be looking at uh, the newest smartwatch slash fitness band from Honor in the form of the Honor Watch ES. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into this one. It looks like quite a nice piece of kit and it's a very, very good price as well. So without further ado, let's dive in. So here we have the Honor Watch ES, relatively simple, small, compact packaging. So we're just going to get it opened up. Now this is being advertised as a smartwatch, however for me it looks more like a fitness band. So we've got the watch first and foremost, pop that off to the side see what else we've got in the box. Not much. Instruction manual on one side. Not even going to bother getting out of the box. Charging cable with pogo pin adapter on one end and USB type A on the other end. So we'll just move the box off to the side. And there we have the watch itself. So it is a rubberized strap, probably floating elastomer, whatever that means. On the back you can see your pogo pins and then your sensor array. On the underside there is some CE markings, however you probably can't see them. and also the name of the device which is honor there's the C markings and there's the name at the top got the one single tab to uh, stop your strap from flying around and this does have a little nubbin in there that will catch on the other end of the strap so on one side you have a power button which has nice red detailing and what looks to be a microphone on the other side completely empty and then you have the, your strap which looks to be a, a just compare it here it looks like it's probably a 22 mil strap here's a 22 mil strap yeah so it looks like it's 22 mil strap width, which is quite good because that's what I've got on my own other devices. Now, this has been powered up before, so we'll just move that a little bit off the screen there. Turn it on, and you can see nice, bright, vivid screen there. Pressing and holding the display will allow me to change. So we'll put it on a stupidly vivid one, that one there, nice and bright. Now, you can't see it on the camera, but this is actually a luminescent yellow colour. And if we go in to settings, display, and we'll ramp the brightness all the way up. So that's it on five. Come back out. You can see very, very bright and vibrant there. As for the fit on the wrist, we'll just pop that on. It's slightly concaved, so it does fit on the wrist quite nicely, but There you go. So that's not too bad. Quite sleek, not too tight. As a size comparison, this is the watch ES, and this is the TicWatch S2. Now the TicWatch S2 is a full Google Wear smartwatch. Weight-wise, 
there's actually not much in it. The tick watch S2 is heavier. Uh, just to give you an idea against a pebble. So this is the original pebble time. Again, screen size is probably about the same given that this was a square screen and it was quite inset into the bezels. If we look at thickness, it's about the same sort of thickness as the Pebble 2, sorry, the Pebble Time. And last but not least is the Nokia Wii Things. Now, the Nokia Wii Things is designed first and foremost as a watch, but it does have smart functionality. And you can see the Wii Things is quite a bit thicker, but it's a lot smaller, and more compact. And that thing, the Nokia watch, lasts absolutely ages on a charge. This will apparently last 14 days on a, char on a full charge. And I'm looking forward to actually seeing what it can do. So you can see here I'm just scrolling through the various screens. So that's a fitness one. That's a music player. That one is um, weather, stress, heart rate, and then back to our main screen. The main menu, you've got various different apps. Now, unlike a full Android Wear or Wear OS device, this does not have the ability to add third party apps. And for this reason, um, I hesitate to call it a full smartwatch. I think of this more as a fitness band. But with that being said, it looks like it's going to tick quite a lot of boxes. And we'll see. There's just a little preview of the um, notifications. Unfortunately, there's no way to action these, so you can't get rid of them. And you can swipe them away. After going into it, you can swipe it away and it does clear them, which is a little bit better than uh, some, of the, some of the other ones that I've seen, but it would be useful um, if you could actually reply to those, so you, if you could reply to text messages, for example. So there you have it. That is the Honor Watch ES, and I'm going to be using this as my daily driver for the next uh, couple of weeks, just to see how I get on. And um, if you want to find out how I've got on with it, then please check out the full review at coolsmartphone.com and also give us a like and a follow on our channel here. And if you want to be kept up to speed with the latest videos coming out of coolsmartphone.com, then please do subscribe. It all helps at the end of the day. Thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.